Hey everybody, welcome to the next Going Beyond Mentorship video. And today we're talking about confidence. Confidence. It's a really big topic and it's an interesting one for me because I think that I've pretty much considered myself a confident person most of my life. And I think people perceive me as confident. Why? Probably because I'm willing to speak. I'm willing to put myself out there. I'm willing to get on camera. Um, some of these things that maybe people who view themselves as less confident just won't do. But when I ask myself, why am I confident? Why do I feel like I can put myself out there? Um, a few things came up for me that I thought I would share because I think they might debunk some of the myths of how we become confident as women and how we use that confidence to further our work in the world. So I was definitely raised by parents who encouraged me to use my voice, who valued my natural talents. Um, and I felt like I was always very seen um, as a human being and as a person. So I definitely think that that foundation helped. But if you were to ask me the honest truth about where my confidence has come from in more of an adult form, like let's talk about in the last few years, like in my 30s into my early 40s, I would say that it's by facing and going into things where I'm absolutely not confident and somehow working my way through them. The truth is, is that I've had a lot of personal and professional experiences through the circumstances of my family, the circumstances of my father, his businesses, things that I had to deal with after his passing, that I was expected to show up, make decisions, have a voice when I really didn't know things. And I have felt the extreme experience of vulnerability, of fear, of worry that I might appear um, some kind of stereotype. Yeah, a stereotype of what it means to be um, an unprepared, uh, not knowledgeable young woman. And I feared being taken advantage of. Um, I feared looking stupid. I feared asking questions that might seem stupid. I feared making wrong decisions. And one of the things I've learned and continue to learn because this is an ongoing journey is that when I'm faced with those moments and those feelings and those resistances, it's actually the going through it the analyzing of the feelings, the organizing of my thoughts and my questions, and then the analysis of where to get the right information and where to step forward that has actually furthered my ability to believe in myself and believe that no matter what comes at me, I'm actually able to navigate it. So a lot of advice that I've seen out there in the world, depending on who it's coming from when it comes to confidence, it kind of stays, not with everyone, but a, a lot. You'll see a lot of sort of surface level suggestions like, you know, present yourself a certain way, dress a certain way, put the cart before the horse a little bit, like fake it until you make it. And while, yeah, you have to present a certain way and yeah, to an extent, you know, you do have to fake it. like. But I don't even really love the idea of fake because I feel like then we're wearing some kind of mask when really we're just trying to be real with who we are in the moment that we're in. So how I see it is more, how do I own where I'm really at in this moment? And how do I make the best decisions by slowing myself down, slowing down my anxious thoughts and my worries and my judgments on myself so that I can see clearly? You know, it's interesting. I think that as women, um, again, I always come back to this feeling of perfectionism kind of dominates. And the reality is that achieving confidence is not, um, it's not a straight line. It's not a perfect path. And inherently in order to get to a place where you see that against all odds, you can arrive somewhere that's positive, baked in that process, is going to be moments where you say the wrong thing or you ask what seems like a silly question or you make a mistake. 
Um, this is the nature of getting to the other side of whatever the moment is. There isn't really a faking it. There is actually just really an owning it. Um, and that's what I want to say to you today that confidence isn't something that you're just born with. Um, we all have different personalities. We come onto the planet with a certain essence. That's true. We are brought up with who you know we're brought up with that establishes a certain feeling of I matter in the world or my voice matters. Um, and side note, if you were not raised with that perspective, um, then it is worthy of spending time in a therapeutic relationship to really dig into that foundation and understand what you missed, what you lacked, what are those spaces inside of yourself that do need healing and to give that time that looking back and healing those spaces is part of befriending with compassion who you are now. Um, but once some of that work is done, and even if that work continues, it's very similar as when we are navigating grief. Uh, there is no way to get over grief. It doesn't go away. Um, it doesn't suddenly disappear and suddenly you're the person on the other side of it. If anything, it's a journey and it's a facing and a feeling and a knowing. And then you have the, the resilience that you achieve. It's the same with confidence. It doesn't just appear. It's something that is earned through facing and working through something and seeing the proof that you have what it takes to get through it. And then the next hard moment comes and you say, oh, right, I went through that. I figured that out. I achieved that. I have it. I have something and I can bring that knowing into this next moment and the next and the next and the next. So I'm here to tell you that Confidence is not something that you're just born with. You know, it's not. Um, it's an accumulation of showing up repeatedly and getting to know yourself each part of the journey so that you reach that next place and you know yourself more. And it's that knowing that gives that sense of I am. I am, I am, I am this person and I have these abilities. And I know that I can get through it, even if I don't know the answer right now, even if I'm scared, I'm confident that I have the guts, that I have the power inside of me to get to that next place. So confidence is an action. It's a doing, it's a forever process. So we keep showing up. So yeah, those are my thoughts on confidence. And, um, I have so much more to say on the subject. Um, there's certain things that I am not confident about yet. Um, but what I do know is that I've been through a lot and I will continue to climb, climb uphill and get over that mountain. And then there'll be another one and another one. And when you have that perspective, you can show up wholeheartedly for your life and for any challenge, whether it's personal, whether it's professional, whether it's a moment, whether you're scared to get on a video and speak from your heart or scared to invest in yourself, um, scared to have a child. Cause like, can you be a parent? Um, I can think of a million places where confidence comes into the picture. Um, but you can only prove it to yourself by showing up for the challenge. So, I love to have these conversations. If you're interested in my mentorship program, head to goingbeyondmovement.com to the mentorship page and um, get to know me a little more there. And you can always fill out a form, a little bit about you and why you're curious about building yourself from the inside out professionally, personally, and we can chat from there. Thanks for watching today.